Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Outlaws. The last episode was ridiculous. It was crazy. If you missed last episode, you're gonna have to set a little time aside because it's a long one, but um, it's just, it's wild. I'd never beaten that level. That was where I got stuck as a kid. I finally got through it. I feel very, um, well, relieved, but also accomplished because it was something that I had been stuck on. Now I'm past it and I'm in a new level, which honestly looks a lot smaller. That being said, the sawmill looks small, so who who really knows? So I've got a um, I've got a scope on this rifle, and thank God I do, because I can just take out some of these guys from afar. Looks like there's a guy, shotgun friend, waiting right at the entrance, and I am not a, fr a fan of that. He ran around in like in a circle briefly, like trying to figure out what to do, and it didn't help him. Um, I think my best bet before I walk through this, the door of this place and, and get shot all to hell is to take these guys out. Um, I think that that would be pretty smart. Is there a guy way back? Oh my god, look at them all. Oh yeah. And uh, who knows how difficult they're... I, I feel like this one probably will be less difficult and less um, long and less involved than the last episode because I was talking a little bit last episode about how you know, this was well known for being, uh, or the last episode was well known for being, you know, a crazy level. Yeah, I don't see the one guy, but I, I, I took out at least one. The rifle is the, the weapon of choice here. I'm really glad that I didn't use it much last episode because now I have a ton of ammo for it. And that's, uh, that's pretty helpful because I'm just taking these guys out left and right. Um, hmm. Okay, good there. Alright, oh, I can see a guy up in the tower. Don't know if he ducked or if I got him. Oh, there's a ton of... I mean, every guy I kill now is one less guy I have to worry about, so there's no reason not to systematically... Is this a watering hole? Or quicksand? Like, who knows, man? Who knows what the developers are thinking? Here's a medical bag down there. Just a hidden medical bag. I'll take it. That was very nice. Uh, gonna continue to get a look up in here before we go into the... What are you gonna call this? Is, is it a town? A little township? Got that guy. Is there a guy right here? Thought I saw his hat, but sometimes things just all kind of look the same. They blend in with the uh, the backgrounds pretty well. Alright. Now, who who's to say how many guys are even in the town? Like, we could have taken out a, quite a few, or there could be quite a few left. But right now, things are looking pretty... Oh, there's a guy... Oh, he's real mad. I'm shooting up the stuff from, from far away. Let's shoot him right in the head. Dead! That was a... It looked like a shotgun guy. There's another one over here. I don't know why they think they're going to hit me. Oh, I actually got him. I don't know if he's dead, but... I don't know why they think they're going to hit me with their shotgun from half a mile away, but... Uh, they never said that they were smart outlaws, just outlaws. Or maybe I'm the outlaw. I'm, I'm the outlaw fighting outlaws. I guess it can work either way. My trusty horse, who can run as fast as a train. Alright, so I've now walked around the perimeter. I've killed... How many people? Who knows? Plenty. So at this point... And they even give you rifle ammo. They're like, you're gonna probably want that rifle. Oh, God! Woo! If this is all the bigger it is, this is gonna go fast. I mean, there could be, like, an underground element. And that's what I'm kind of guessing. Because it looks too small otherwise. But... But who knows, there's definitely someone up there. But they've given me plenty of, uh... Plenty of ammunition to work with, which I... Appreciate. Okay, there's a gun. If you didn't already have the shotgun... They got the shotgun in here. Alright. This is... I, I like this because, um, this is... Get out of here. This is a, a nice varied level. You got these big courtyards where you can actually get some use out of your rifle, but then you're going to have, you know, probably some smaller areas where you can use the shotgun or 
the handgun or whatever. Got him. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, as long as you're pretty close. The game tends to give it to you. Which, uh, which I appreciate. Don't be a fool, Looking good, man. Looking... Look, look, like, this is already going so much more smoothly. Th oh! Spoke too soon. Medical bag it. Who shot me? I'm still getting shot, and I'm not sure where, so I'm gonna run away. Where was... There's... There is a guy up there. You can see. I don't know if that's the guy that was shooting me. It could have been. But I'm gonna have to be... I'm still gonna have to be pretty careful here. Should I go through the... Door? I think... There's a shotgun guy. And I don't know where he is, but he took out a good chunk of my health, and I don't want to keep using up my medical bags. Who? Where is he? He's in there. That's where he is. Piece of crap. There's a lot of them over there. Show yourself! There's one down. There's two down. But that wasn't the guy that was shoot. Yep. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! I got a medical bag or I'll die. Son of a gun! I'm really far away, too! Piss! That's... That's not the guy. Where? Okay. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. That guy's down. I thought there was a shotgun guy in there. Maybe that was the guy that was shooting me and he hit, he's not the shotgun guy, but there's someone around doing major damage to me and I'm, I'm really freaking out because of it. The advantage of being in an open area is, yes, you can shoot far away with the rifle, and that's nice, but they can also shoot you. I am out. I was anxious there. I shot my gun. Um, I am out of medical bags. Don't be a fool, Marshall. Crap. I blew through all of them. Oh, God. There's no one above me. I Maybe that was it. Maybe that was the guy. There's one of the shotgun dudes. Jeez, man. This is messed up. Okay, let's, um... Good God. I'm, I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting stuff done. I also gotta build my, my medical bag supply back up. Because I'm really mad that they're gone. Get out of here. Oh, Lord. Uh... How do I... Do I have to do a running crouch jump? Maybe? I got the medical bag, but I can't seem to get up there. Can I stand on the door? Yes, act of course you can. These old video games you can do you can do basically anything. Wanna stand on the door? Stand on the door. No one will be offended. You need the, the steel key. Okay, so there are keys. Is there generally there generally is. From up here I can get a better vantage point on some of the enemies that are around though. I do have a spare medical bag again. Dynamite and the brass key, so not the key I need. <laughs> the key that you're looking for is in another castle. There's a room back there with all sorts of treachery, but I can't see anyone inside of it. Okay, so we're going to have to come back with the steel key, but for right now we do have the brass key, and that is at least something. Cool. Got it. Should we, should we start to sneak into this part? Sure. Let's go back here. Oh yeah, it's there's there's an underground section. Because otherwise, it was it, it seemed like it was going to be a pretty short, small level, and uh, we can't we couldn't have that, of course. Okay, I'm making bullet holes right there, even though I'm aiming down here. That's unfortunate. Okay, there's. There is all sorts of bad down there. I mean, I can see that guy. Can I just shoot his feet? Yeah! Die, feet guy! Oh, Lord, there's a guy right here. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when I drop down here, it's going down, and you know it's going down. Like, it's a huge, wide-open space. There's nowhere to really hide. There's not even, like, a frickin'... 
There's no light. That's just... Whatever. Turning on my light. Hiding in the corner. Looking for enemies, although I can't see any. So I'm just going to wander around slowly in the dark. Picking up ammo and trying to be relatively careful. I'm also mostly out of oil. There's a can. Okay. Oh my god. Did you guys hear that? I'll, I'll, I'll make sure Dan turns that up so you guys could hear that line. That was unique dialogue. That's the boss. So I'm either already at the boss, which is semi-surprising? Oh god, there's guys over there. Um, but I guess not too surprising. Um, but maybe he's like not yet reachable? I don't know. There's a guy over there. Oh, it's a star. The Sheriff's Star. This place is huge! Oh, I don't think we're about to get to the boss. I think we're just kind of getting started here. At least from what I can tell. Oh my god, there's a big old pit. And it's frightening. There's some supplies here, but I also don't want to, like, lose supplies in the process of trying to get supplies. Like, look at this bullcrap. And again, I'm running out of oil. I am constantly running out of oil. That was frightening. More oil, thank you. God, I am on edge. I am on... Shut up. Had it with your bull crap. Oh my god, I'm on edge. I'm really on edge. That thing would be helpful. Like, look at this! What? Da! Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh my god! There's platforming on tiny little narrow thing, and you have to keep moving. If you don't keep moving, then you're you're gonna run out of. Oh my god! Ouch! Broke my legs. You're gonna run out of oil. So you it, it you know make sure that you continue to move because if you don't, then you're gonna be in the dark, and that's gonna be a hundred times worse. Okay, so I went all. Oh my god! Jeez! Can I jump over here? Okay, so I have the Sheriff's Badge, which gives us some level of uh, temporary invincibility. Wait a minute, is that... was that the boss? Now that is what I meant by... Enlightenment. I did not mean burn down the property, kill the wife, and kidnap the child. Oh, well, I guess things just got a little out of hand. Oops. Out of hand? Now I got a crazed father after me and his little brat out back. Now you got me into this mess. You get me out of it. Well, Mr. Graham, all my medical training says that you can't reason with a crazy man. So, kill him! Oh, <laughs> that is music to my ears. Consider it done. And I'll kill the girl. No, Mary. I don't murder children. Yes, sir, we must love and protect the children. They are our future. That's what the good Lord said. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of God. 